Now with Barbara Corcoran, the shark and host of the Business Unusual podcast, is here to answer your questions about the housing market. Always good to have you here in the studio. Thank with you us. so much. Okay, we've, we've heard this headline about the housing market is cooling down. What exactly does that mean, and do you agree? Well, in my book, it's not cooling down by much at all, maybe an inch or so. Uh, the problem in the marketplace is the higher interest rates have pushed so many buyers to the sidelines, and there are a lot of people still hanging out there waiting. Mm -hmm. But go out into that market, and it's fiercely competitive. You go to any open house on any Sunday, you see 40 cars standing out loud. Out, outside the mm -hmm. house, and if you put in a bid on the house, half the time you're going to lose it. So that doesn't, in my book, sound like a cooling market. Not at all. Okay, what's going on here? Because we see prices out west dropping, mm -hmm. in the east rising. Why is that happening? Well, for the last 10 years, prices in the western part of the United States has outpaced the east. They've gone and they've skyrocketed up, leaving so many people out of the marketplace. But in the east, houses are still more affordable, so they have more room to grow. And so you see that division in the country. Okay. Now, we see this question a lot. We keep hearing, when will home values stabilize? They never stabilize. Prices mm. are either going up or they're going down. You've got to buy somewhere. But I believe you have to get in the game. You have to get in the game so you have a chit to play with. When I chickened out of my first studio apartment many years ago, it took me you? six you? years. Me, of course. I'm ashamed to tell you that, but whatever. Mm -hmm. But six years later, I could afford to buy the same apartment. But once I got that studio, I got a one bedroom, then a two bedroom, then a three bedroom. I had something to trade up on, mm. and today I live in a penthouse. Nothing would have happened without that first studio ap apartment purchase. So you're saying if we buy a studio one day we can be in a penthouse? Is that what you're saying, Barbara Corcoran? Well, maybe not. You have to put in a little extra work for okay. that one. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, we got a video question. This is coming from Linda about uh -huh. selling or renting. Yes. Um, it Barbara, depends. How do oh, I I'm know sorry. that yeah. a property is a good investment to renovate, oh. to rent out monthly? Okay. The smartest thing to do is to compare what the apartments in your area are renting for renovated and unrenovated. You compare the cost, then you look at what you're going to have to put into the place and ask, does it pay? And you should bear in mind that renovations always cost 30% more than you anticipate, so you should up your budget as well. But you make your decision based on the numbers. Say that again, because people need to know that you get a, you get a bid yes. about a renovation, but it always is so much higher. Always. Yeah. So you know, you want to believe that you're going to get sure. what you want and what the contractor said, but you always do add-ons mm -hmm. and the bids never come in as it they comes in. promise. Okay, got a last question for right yeah. now, because we're going to have you back in the next half hour. Okay. Our last question about interest rates. They're so much higher than they were a year ago. So should you factor in refinancing when you first buy? A lot of people do this. It's stinking thinking. You think, hey, um, it's too expensive for me to buy this house, but when rates go down, I'll be able to refinance. It doesn't work that way. They also go up. So you should take your payment, figure, can I afford another two percentage points? And if I can, mm. if they go up, I'll buy the house right now. But without it, you're crazy. It's stinking thinking. It's stinking thinking? Yeah. Okay. Well, that kind of says it. <laughs> it does say it all. Our viewers are really coming in with some great questions, and one of them asked this. They want to know, do you see the condo or a townhouse as a good investment for a first-time homeowner? Hey, it's very often the best investment and the only way you could get into the market. And a lot of people are hesitant about town how, town homes appreciating, but they appreciate just like a house does in the area. So there's no reason if you're getting invested in a town home. Well, get in the game. It's getting in the game, but, isn't it? But sure, it is. One, one thing. Yeah. What about the HOA factor? Well, you know, you have to share your decisions with the neighbors next door. So that's not very much fun, especially if you've always had your own home or you're accustomed to living privately. But you want to know, it's not a bad give up because you get in the game. Mm -hmm. Sharing is caring, right? Uh, Barbara, okay, here's a question from another viewer. I've lived in I'm and owned- I'm not sure on that <laughs> I teach my four-year-old that. It's okay. okay in home ownership. It's totally different. Okay, I've lived in and owned my house for 35 years. My value has soared. Should I sell? I am 60 years old. What is your advice? Well, she's a very lucky lady. She has two options. One, she could move out after she sells her home, or she could get a reverse money mortgage. How that works is you simply sell your house to the bank, you get to stay there and the bank makes you payments for the rest of your life.
A lot of people are signing up for reverse money mortgages because they just don't want to move. But obviously there are some strings attached there that you really have to think through if you're going that direction. I think the biggest string is they usually price at a percent higher than all the other mortgages. But so far as trusting the instrument, if you're working with a reputable bank, they're rock solid and so many people offer that option. How about selling right now? Is it still a seller's market in your view? Of course it is. It's always a seller's market when you have five buyers and two houses and that's what you have right now. Right. And I don't see that changing very radically. At the minute interest rates come out, come down, which eventually they will, prices will skyrocket all over again. All right, so if you want to buy right now, what's the one question that you think every home buyer needs to be asking? What's been overlooked? Oh, always the same old thing, no matter what's going in the market. People don't go back for a second look at the house at night or in the early mm. morning. That's when you find out your neighbor's noisy, they've got a basketball court, you find so out the smart. garbage routes going by. You People fall in love with the house and think at that moment in time is their new house. No, you got to see in the morning, you got to see it at night, and people don't go back. Go yeah. on a rainy day. Yeah. 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 Do see the light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't just go once. It's not one and done when it no, comes no, to that. No, not at all. All right. Silly. What is your, what is your, Barbara, I'm sorry, what is your advice for small business owners? Should they be looking to buy real estate? They should buy the retail space they're operating in. I have seen more people go out of business, not because they can't make money at their business, but because the landlord has increased the rent too much. You should think of the landlord, if you're renting, that he's in partnership with your business and he's taking half your profits. I'm a landlord, so I should, shouldn't say that. But that's the truth. Yep. Most people are controlled by their landlord. If there's any way you could buy your retail space, it's the smartest thing you'll ever do. Because sometimes your landlord sees that the business is doing well. and oh, Always. Hey, it's human it. nature. You don't do that, though. Never, never, never. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barbara, for coming My in pleasure. early like that. And you can best. see Barbara on Shark okay. Take this Friday at 8, 7 Central right here on ABC.